Hello everybody, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au here. In this Flip Teacher Professional Learning video, we're going to be going through a tool called Reflector, which allows you to broadcast whatever is on yours or your student's uh, smartphone or tablet to the, smart, to the main screen so you can share what's being learned. And it looks a little bit like this, or as you add an extra device like this, or another one like this, it will auto shuffle, or perhaps another one like that. So Reflector is a really powerful tool, uh, very easy to use, and we're going to stop now. We're going to go back where to find the program, how to connect to the devices, and some of the other features. Alrighty, now Reflector is made by a program, a, by a company rather called Squirrels. So if you go to airsquirrels.com, you will come to a page that looks like this. Now the version of Reflector that I'll be showing in these uh, these videos is the teacher version. So we just need to scroll down a little bit, and you can see Reflector Teacher just here. Uh, you click on it to learn more. There is a seven-day demo, a, a trial period that you can utilize as well. So that's where you find the program, download it, install it. Pretty simple, straightforward stuff. Uh, you may need the administrator of your school network to do that for you if you are trying to install it on a school computer just be aware of that now the way that this program operates is you install reflector on your computer that is attached to the screen and then when it's uh, turned on the students will connect their device to you a little bit like um, Apple TV and Chromecast this one is a lot more uh, accepting of other platforms so this will take pretty much any platform Android iOS anything you would attach to Chromecast. Now let's open it up. Reflector. So Reflector Teacher. Now what you'll get when you open it up is a little dialog box that looks like this one. Now at the moment I've got no devices connected so there's not really a whole lot there. This will be the name of your computer and you do have some settings down here to check for updates, um, some keyboard preferences, that kind of thing. I'll leave you to explore that in your own time. Now to connect a device, now I'm going to be working with Apple devices. If you are using um, Android or something uh, something different, you know, modify the instructions to suit. So on your Apple device, um, swipe up to find the AirPlay, the mirroring function. When you tap that, what you'll get is this. If I choose the name of my computer, which is Phoenix, what I get now on the main computer is this little notification. So I can approve or not whether I want that device to connect. So that means that you don't have the risk of having um, students from other classes accidentally connecting to your particular screen uh, or people that you don't want connecting because you have to actually approve. Now you can choose to remember the device which means that in future it will automatically connect and you can choose to disconnect all devices, um, allow and hide all or allow and show all. Now let's say for a moment you've um, asked everyone in your class to connect and to show off uh, something they've been working on on their tablet. You might have 30 different devices there. You don't want to have to individually approve each single one so you can go allow and show all or allow and hide all of them. So they're connected, but they won't be showing up on the screen just yet. So I'm gonna go allow and show all. And so now it will by default put that, um, that device in the middle of my screen and it will adjust it to suit the size of my screen. I can click and drag that over to the side here and you can see here I've got the device listed. If I click on the little down arrow here, I've got a few options. I can get rid of the frame. Now, this little eye icon here, if I click on that, the phone disappears. It's still connected, but I could choose to not have whatever is on that screen showing at that point in time. All right, let's connect a few other devices. All right, so you can see there that we've got three devices that are trying to connect. So there's my work phone, there's my iPad, and there's my wife's iPad. So I can choose at this point, I can allow each of those to connect rather than having to do them individually. Let's go allow and show all, and you can see that it will allow each of them to connect, and it will, given that I'm running another program that is using quite a lot of my computer's processing power, it will shuffle them around to give you a best fit. There we go. So that's reshuffled them around so that they're in a, a best fit. You can, of course, uh, click and drag by clicking on the black menu bar here. I can move those around if I do want to. And you can also resize them as well if you need to as well. So that's how you connect them. A really, really simple process. Swipe up on your, this is on Apple device of course. There is just here, 
is the uh, that tells me that I'm connected to Phoenix, which is the name of this computer. If I tap that off, the phone will disconnect. Now, we've got a few other things that we can do as well, but we'll come back to those in the next video. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching this one. Uh, stay tuned for the next video where we're going to go in a little bit more depth into what some of the other features are uh, and why I think it's such a useful tool. But for now, that's this has been FTPL. Thank you very much.